hi in this video I am going to show you the um, this program that I have created to draw the influence line diagrams for any determinate beam any determinate beam means a beam whose uh, support reactions external support reactions they can be fi found using the uh, conditions of e static equilibrium okay so uh, i'm not going to share with you the total python code for this program i'm going to show only the work uh, working part i mean i will show uh, this code at work Ki ye dekho kya result de hai. okay so uh, let us take uh, this problem uh, i have uh, taken a screenshot from the book that is rc by rc hibler uh, structure analysis by rc hibler ninth edition book uh, you can refer this book for more details mm, this is the problem number 623 okay so what it uh, asks is that beam supports a distributive distributive lo dead load of 600 newton meter and single life concentrated force of 5000 newton determine the maximum negative moment at e and the maximum positive shear at e uh, so, uh, assume the support at a is pin this support is pin okay and uh, b and d are roller so this is roller and this is roller and we have a internal hinge at c also so you can see that uh, this pin support will give us two reactions and one at uh, one each at these two roller supports so total number of uh, external support reactions are four here and uh, fundamental equations of static equilibrium we have three plus uh, one equation is generated by this internal hinge because we know that uh, bending moment at the internal hinge is always zero so four number of equations four number of reactions so this is a determinant beam okay so uh, i'm not going into details of the uh, this solution but i will show you the complete solution that mm, that this program will generate for you okay uh, and yes i am not going to find out these uh, maximum uh, moment values or shear value i am only going to show you the creation of the ilds because ilds are first required okay of once ILDs is found we can easily find out these values okay i know if you are a civil engineering student or mechanical engineering student you can uh, understand how we you understand how we do that okay so uh, total length of this beam is 13.2 meter okay all these nodes are spaced at 3.3 uh, meter so uh, for this particular program uh, it this beam has four nodes one is a then b c and d and e is the point where we have to find the moment and shear ilds okay so let us do this okay so I'm going to run this program okay and uh, you can see that I have used these libraries for this program one is pandas then numpy matplotlib and uh, sanisha is a particular uh, uh, I can say function uh, program module that I have created by myself uh, it doesn't do much uh, I mean you can you can work without it also just for the pretty pin printing of the equations that it will generate I have coded some stuff and uh, equations are represent presented in a better way using this program so uh, you don't need this okay if you are simply looking for uh, results only you don't need this then I have used simpy okay simpy is required for the equations uh, uh, analysis using the equations linear equations quadratic equations <coughs> okay it it's easier to i think it's easier to work with simpy uh, rather than numpy okay so uh, let us run this program actually program this is not the only program you know that this function define ild is this function contains a uh, number of lines from 38 up to 554 so in between it contains almost 500 lines i can expand it like this so you can see there are so many lines of codes so let us run this program i'm going to minimize the upper part and uh, okay so <coughs> length of the units meter 
let me zoom the screen a little bit so that it's bigger okay so length of the beam is 13.2 meter right number of nodes i have chosen is four name of the node a a is at zero okay now it is asking what this node actually is so what this node actually is so it is a pin support okay you have to choose from this uh, fixed pin roller internal hinge okay or z z uh, this uh, zero shear also you can also choose okay so you have uh, these options and you have to choose only among these options because only uh, these are applicable for any beam so i will choose pin p i n okay is it an end support and support means uh, support is at the either end either left end or the right end so yes it is a and support name of the node up now you can uh, you are it's asking you for the other nodes so b node b node is at 3.3 meter okay and uh, what kind of node this is so let me show you the uh, beam once again here so this is the beam right so this b node is a roller support okay so i have choose here roller and then c is a hinge and uh, this one is roller again so b is roller so i will type r you can uh, write small case r also uh, it will automatically adopt okay so then there is uh, it is asking if it is an and support so no this is not a and support then name of the node third node is c and that is at 9.9 .9 meter and that is an internal hinge for internal hinge i have i have to choose ih ih okay so this is ih ih done then last node is d that is at the 13.2 meter from the left hand and what it is it is a roller support so r so i choose here r is it an and support yes it is an and support so program has gathered all the information about the beam now it is asking you whether you need ild at any specific point so yes i need ild at the point e so name of the point is e okay and what is its x coordinate it is at 6.6 .6 meter from the left hand which ild do you need i you need ild for shear or moment or both so i need ild for both shear and moment so b are there other ilds to be drawn do you need so it is asking if you want ilds for other points so uh, if you choose yes here it will uh, ask on these details again and uh, it will draw the ild for that point also but i don't need at this point so i will choose no okay so it has done its calculations and now it will draw your ilds so these are the calculations it is doing actually i have um, chosen to print these particular uh, equations so id for ay is ready so you can see that ay is one when load is at the leftmost end so let us let me show you this diagram also so when the load is at a okay so when point load will be at this point obviously a y will be maximum one when it moves to b it becomes zero when it reaches this point uh, this is 9.94 .9 something uh, okay so this is the hinge okay 9 uh, 9.9 .9. so when this reaches hinge it becomes maximum a y is two and when unit load reaches d it becomes zero so id for a y is correct okay so let us see the other ilds <coughs> you can also choose to not uh, draw these ilds for a y b y and d y uh, if you need only ild for e uh, shear at e and moment at e uh, you can uh, modify the program accordingly okay but i have chosen to uh, show these ilds so see this is by so by is maximum when this load is at the hinge 3 this is positive value and a y was negative 2 
so you can see that 3 minus 2 will be 1 so net vertical sum of the forces is 1 so hence our id is correct so this is by then let us see id for dy so you can see dy is 0 when the load is at the hinge okay so 3 minus 2 was 1 so it, this is 0 so sum of these 3 is 1 so this is correct and dy is 1 when the load is at this point d so when it is at this point d load is 1 and this uh, sh dy is 1 so this is correct so now it will generate the id for VE and ME. VE is the shear at E and ME is moment at E. So let me okay. So you can see that VE is 1 when load is at just at E or right of E. So it becomes 1 and it remains 1 until load reaches hinge point. Okay. So technically this is correct because we know that uh, when the load is toward the left of C, C is the hinge, okay, automatically dy will be 0, right? because moment at C is 0, so dy into 3.3 .3 will be 0, that is the moment at C, so automatically dy is 0. So shear at E we can take as the sum, algebraic sum of the reactions or forces to be right of e so right of e is only dy and dy is zero so when the load is left of e shear at e will be zero and just when the load crosses this point e to the right it becomes it will have some value okay and when load is to the right of this point c hinge we have seen that uh, uh, a y is 3 at C and B y is 2 at C. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So 1, uh, 1 is the uh, shear at E. So because we can take shear from this end also. No? So from the left left side also. Algebraic sum of the forces. So 3 minus 2 will be 1. But when it uh, goes toward this, both of A y and B y tends to 0. Tends to become 0 and uh, dy is maximum when unit load is at this point so both of them becomes zero so shear at e becomes zero when unit load become uh, reaches at point d so shear value at e ild for e is correct it is showing number of zeros here i think i have not rounded these values so it is showing like this 1.000 so we can modify it later also and this point 1.000 so okay so that's not a big issue now let us check the id for me that is the moment at e so i am crossing this out and next it will show me the value of me so value of me uh, it is generally seen that moment is always maximum when load is at that point but in this case because there is an hinge so obviously it will get modified me is 0 when the load is toward the left of e so this will be true because uh, moment at e is equal to dy into this distance so dy is 0 when load is uh, at the left when it is at the left of c so automatically this part is 0 and it this will have value because unit load crosses the point e so moment at e will be 1 into this distance suppose uh, load is at c unit load dy is 0 but load is having value of 1 1 into 3.3 .3 will be 3.3 .3. so maximum value of moment will be 3 point minus 3.3 .3 when load is at c and it becomes moment becomes 0 when load reaches d because both are 1 dy is 1 load is 1 so they cancel out and moment at e will be 0 so id for m is also correct so this is the program that i have created and uh, Honestly speaking, it takes uh, quite quite a lot of time and hard work understanding. So I'm not giving this code for free. So if you need this code, you can ask for the uh, the this code. You can purchase it uh, from me. Okay. So I I'm being honest here. So I will talk straight. So that's it for now. Uh, 
in the future i will share with you this uh, working of some other programs also like uh, how to create the deflection diagram of determinate beams uh, value of deflection value of slope and then there are some other programs uh, like uh, uh, vertical curves and horizontal curve they are uh, offsetting of these curves okay so i have all this and i uh, i'm constantly creating new programs so stay connected for more such videos and uh, just to get motivation okay i'm not giving you the code but obviously you will get the motivation to learn i'm sharing with you the libraries that i have used and uh, you can learn these libraries and if you are good at coding definitely you can code these programs by yourself okay so you can see that this program also gives me equations a y equations for all these me moment at e equation this is the limit 0 to 6.6 .6 equation is this 6 to this equation is this so i have created this complete solution for the problem including the determination of these uh, reactions okay a uh, moment at a is 0 b d all these points they i have put only the name of these points and it has coded them into forming these sentences equations so it works beautifully okay thanks for now stay tuned bye bye take care